thank you so much for joining me and tuning into this video. I will be taking you to the behind the scenes of this wedding day. So I'll be taking you along throughout the day and um, yeah, let's just get right into it. So here I'm just walking right up to the hair and makeup. I don't always go to hair and makeup, but this couple wanted me to. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Amanda's. Hi, Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. I don't have makeup on, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh, guys. Hi. Hi. How are you guys? This is Hi. Olivia, Abby, Hope, Colleen. So here I'm just meeting the Maddie. entire <laughs> bridal party, or at least the bridesmaids, and of so course I'm you see the bride get more here. Candid stuff. Nothing posed here, so just act like I'm not even here. Okay. I'm gonna try to stay out of everyone's sight of uh, sight, so. Okay, um, and then Thomas, he was here on time, but there's a road closed somewhere. I know. So the GPS keeps on looping him know, back to that closed road. Yeah. So. Yeah, is he coming here? With yes, him? he's gonna come he's here, coming. and then when we leave here, then he's You'll gonna go to Tim. Oh, I'll stay with you guys. Sounds good. Thank yep. you. Yeah, no problem. So after I introduce myself, I'm just here finishing up setting everything in my camera. I can try to get exposure proper inside my camera. And I'm just kind of getting a little bit of an eye and getting familiar with the space that we're going to be in for this first hour or so of the day. So after familiaring myself with the space, I'm going to start shooting and of course I got all my settings in camera right. For all of this I'm shooting in 24 FPS or 23.97. I'm shooting in 4K in C Log 3 with the R6. So for these I'm just getting both of the bridesmaids here getting their hair done. I am trying to keep my distance a little bit, so I'm at about a 70 millimeter on my lens. Just because when you start pointing cameras at people, they tend to get a little uncomfortable, especially if they haven't been around them often. So this process can be a little slow, but in terms of the edit, it is very crucial to get some of this stuff because you can't just start an edit right off with the ceremony because it just feels a little rushed. So you kind of have to show them getting ready and getting prepped for the day. You're good, you're good. Don't worry. <laughs> Hi, how are you? <laughs> so right here while she's preoccupied, I'm trying to get some details of her hair. Just because she might get a little awkward if she sees me trying to film her hair otherwise. But here I'm just trying to get some candidates of her as the hair and makeup artist is putting her final touches on the bride for the day. Now right where she's sitting is honestly the perfect spot for this space. She's sitting right next to a window, especially with the mirror right behind her. It's bouncing some of that light to the back side of her and it's just creating a nice depth on her face. And of course I'm shooting on the shadow side of her face too, so then it's adding a little bit more depth across her entire face. You actually got it this time. Yes, that's it what we tell people. It was. Yeah. 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 Yeah
So right here I'm getting some of this bride made, getting her hair all braided up. You want to get a variety of the bridesmaids as hair and makeup is being done. You don't want to favor one over the other. The only one you do want to favor though is the bride of course. Now, I'm actually just on a tripod for this morning section. If I wanted to, I could turn the tripod into a monopod type thing. But for the most part, all of these shots are static. I don't need any dynamic movement for these beginning shots. <laughs> no, I like, I like your presence. You're going to be so hysterical. I like her. I like her presence a lot. You're going to be so Just for eye contact. So see here, this is why I always record, just because sometimes you get some of these really great candidates and they don't even notice that you're filming, but sometimes they do point it out and it is a good laugh for the day and sometimes it does break the chance it out for the rest of the day. So right here I'm taking some good notes. She is saying what happened in her wedding or one of her friend's weddings. And she's saying what she didn't like. So you have to keep that in mind. You pick up on all these little things throughout the day just because you want to make sure they're feeling comfortable. But here, now we're actually finished up with hair and makeup. And we're over at the bride's parents' house. So he's trying to get some BTS stuff, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's why I'm with this today. Oh, that little thing? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Little Insta 360, so you can see like how wide it is there. Nice. I could do a full 360 if I want, but the mode it's in right now, I just have it as, as is, so. That's pretty sick. So yep, here yep, the photographer is yep, just perfect. getting right, some so final shots before they other. all start getting dressed. Good, like our back arm to start. Good. Yep, good. And what good. I'm and really doing here is just us. letting her do her job. She's setting okay. everybody up. And then this is where I get some more of those dynamic movement shots. I am on a gimbal right now. I currently use the DJI Ronin S2. And this gimbal has really helped me get a lot of the shots that I need. This gimbal surprisingly though gave me no issues throughout the day and sometimes it really does fight with me. But as you can see I, again I'm just letting the photographer do all the work and here is where I'm going to start getting more of those orbiting side to side shots just pushing in pulling out um, going left to right and all of that, Cutie just to add a little bit more movement Good, to the shot. Good, then we're over at Amanda and tell her how gorgeous she is today. Good, Amanda, look to someone to your left or your right. Good, we can like kind of look and giggle at each other. So this Good. photographer throughout the day, her and I talked before the wedding actually happened. We discussed a little bit of the shots that we want and pretty much throughout the entire day I let her direct. I like, she so was I setting everything up. And video. Oh, nice. As but you like, can hear I'm talking I do to both the other photo and video, uh, photographer. But I like it when I'm like the days when I'm just video because it's like a feed off the photographer. Uh, yeah. Makes it like a little easier for me. That's usually how it is. They're a little less stressful. Yeah. A lot of times we don't even bother asking anymore. So like, you need something or something? Yeah. I always just, just like, yeah. we're just following you. And I'm always like, if I see something I really like, I'm just like, I'm going to steal them after you. Yeah. <laughs> I always say something. Yeah, if something's good, you got to get it. Yeah. It's for girls. It's girl zone. Alright, good. So we're going to do that little hug towards each other. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> my girlfriend says that all the time to me. <laughs> So here you can see they're just getting a little individuals and again I'm just doing some slow push-ins and push pull-outs. Sorry for about this camera angle here being on the gimbal I'm at all different angles and uh, the camera just was not at the proper angle to get some of this BTS. Perfect. Perfect. All right I want to do <laughs> all right, I want to do one more with just all the girls without mom. Let's do one with all the girls without mom. So here, typically, I just let the photographer do all the work because they're the ones who really have the timeline for the day. I always reach out beforehand, though, to get the timeline from the photographer just to make sure we're on the same page. Yep. So but this section, though, go. is right before let's they're getting like ready. Behind each other's backs. So we're trying to be yeah, a little quick up. here. And then maybe let's go like criss crisscross with the ankles. Yeah. Good. But as you yeah. can see, she's Good. just yeah. directing, and then I'm moving all here different colors on those legs. just to get a little bit of an orbit, a little dynamic <laughs> movement. <laughs> all right, ready, girls? We're all going to look over at me again. One, two, three. Good. And one more. Good, I'm like in this tree. <laughs> Perfect, good. <laughs> so there, that's gonna all conclude right, so this session. Like and then they're all gonna go in and get and ready no, at this point. Dressed. Okay, because then once you girls are dressed, yeah. then we'll get like Amanda in her dress. And we'll okay, like no, it's okay. okay. Gotcha, okay. okay, yes. All right, we're going to get dressed. Okay. I mean, before you actually, just a little bit. No, you're okay. Like, <laughs> so here okay, so the photographer is getting everybody set up for this we're going to be getting some shots of her in her dress here as you can see but here I had to put my camera down because we just came in from outside so now what I'm doing is taking my ND filter off and I'm putting my mist filter on yeah, that's why I chose. So you actually want me to? Yep, yep. You're literally gonna do that. Okay. <laughs> do, I, do I look at her? Yep. Yes. You're gonna look at her. You're gonna look down at the dress. Yeah, it looks like you're actually doing. Yep. It. It's just like you would. Good. Do it a couple more times. Not all the way down. So I'm here, sure. just to <laughs> kind of keep the day on track, <laughs> as a photographer is getting her shots, <laughs> I'm getting my <laughs> shots too good. without anybody really knowing. Good, and then we can like do the buttons, because that'll take some oh, time. The buttons here. Uh, let's do the top ones first, and then we'll do the bottom yeah, ones. She need might need to do the buttons. Help with that. Um, I'm gonna need you to do the snap on top first. I was Why don't say, you do yeah. that? I was yeah. gonna say, sister can hop in too to do stuff. So this section could be a little <laughs> awkward at times as well <laughs> just because sometimes it gets quiet because we're just trying to let them do their own thing and have their own yeah, moment. Yeah, we'll but that. they also have the idea that cameras are on them so they're always going to kind of look at the cameras so this is where kind of directing a little bit is no, going to help get everything yeah. that you really do need for this. I was gonna say, sister is also available too. Sorry, that was not. Uh -huh. okay, I, I don't even one. think you're in. I'm at a I 70. I got one. <laughs> Good. So other. sometimes between you and the photographer yeah, you're, gonna, like, look you're gonna get really again. close so it is always good to reach out beforehand, get to know them if it's somebody you haven't worked with before. <laughs> And also just kind of be open in communication with them throughout the entire day. So when you're in some of those awkward yeah, moments, it's not out. as awkward. Or if one of you get into each other's shots, it's easier for each other to ask for you to move. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay. You get in there. There's two yeah. to do on. Yeah. On their side. Come look at the front of me, mom. Okay. Everything's situated. Oh god, these nails yes. might not make it. Easy. Yeah, very good. Very nice. Don't rip anything. Mom, I can't do it with these nails. Maybe one. 
So I am going to cut out some of this section here. It is a very long video, but I feel like you got the general idea on how some of this has been shot. Listen, she's got the whole bottom to do still. I need to check if it's situated correctly. Man, I'll go in my room. Go into my room. Would you mind just staying right there? I want to get. You want to come over here as well? I'm going to sneak over here. You're good. So here I so saw how the whole train is all sprawled out. So I'm trying to get this one shot to where it's showing the dress first and then it reveals up to awesome. her face. Maddie, can you get the handheld here? Yeah, I was going to say arm handheld here too. I can hold it. <laughs> and this day we didn't really have to direct all that much, which was kind of nice just because they were very compliant and when we said just one little thing, they pretty much got it spot on. Hey, Ron. Oh yeah, that definitely is. It gives me that extra stop. So here oh, we're trying to figure true. out the best is way to have you all of the bridesmaids up line way? up in a I mean, good yeah, fashion could. that's going to be very photogenic, but yeah. she's going to be coming See down those stairs to the right. Here I'm setting up a little bit of a light. I have that right. aperture MC light that has magnets on it. Okay. What's really cool is you could actually put it up on the corners of different doorways. As long as they put that quarter bead in and did everything as they should when they were building it, you should be able to just magnetize it to any doorway, door frame. Alright. I think I've balanced that for 48. Yes. And then here I'm trying to get my white balance perfect. You can see that we have some of this more warm light here. And to the left we have more of that daylight coming in. So it's a cooler light. So my aperture I tried to do about a 48 I believe so. And in camera I was out of 48. So I kind of split the difference between the two. Outside is about 55. Inside here is about a 32. So I tried splitting the difference and in my opinion the white balance came out pretty well in camera out of 48 here. Now here I'm just practicing my movement for when she comes down the stairs and to reveal all the bridesmaids when they see her. It's always good if you have the time to practice some of your movements. I hate shooting in scenes sometimes like this. I'm trying to find like... I'm splitting the difference for white pants and it's tough. It's like, do I stay warm here or do I go warm, like balanced to the cool? I can't see I was gonna say, I guess it... I can go ask And for some reason... They had a yeah, Christmas I mean, tree, we we and this was uh, in we could have their backs turned. Yeah, and we then, that too. And we were a little here. confused, but we did end up moving moved. this tree, as you can see it. here, that we are about to move it. <laughs> it's Christmas in July, or August. <laughs> it's August already. <laughs> That works better. There we go. Yeah. There so we where go. are you going to be standing for this? I'm probably yeah, like right okay, here. so you are fine if I then follow her? Because yeah, then I'm going to pretty much land where you yeah, are. So. Okay. Yeah, right. So Amanda. Whenever you're ready. Okay, so where'd you have the door? Let's close this door. Oh, okay, no. I'm not okay. gonna get that at all. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry. Don't, okay. <laughs> no, when you've got a pretty back. No, no, no. Well, I don't know. Where does Dad go? He's not right here, but. No. We're doing like a legit first. Yeah, just stay here for now, okay? <laughs> All right, he's in the kitchen. We're good. Okay. Okay. So whenever you come like right here, you can like tell them to turn around, okay? Because okay. they're facing so away. I'm going to take you down. Okay. Oh, okay. so they're not watching the right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They wanted it to be a surprise. That's okay. Fine. So hold on. 
that's, is no, that I, no, I really can't see so <laughs> face at all. All throughout a wedding like day, you have to kind of be on your toes and ready to go at any moment. Um, I had no idea that she started walking down the stairs right there. <laughs> so I got caught by surprise. <laughs> that's why you always are ready to roll. This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> Is that okay? Does that look okay? You're okay. It'll probably get messed up as she keeps walking. Okay. So. <laughs> well, at least it's flattened out. Yeah. All right. So I'm going back up. <laughs> All right. You have to get in front row, even though she's already seated. Okay. <laughs> you can talk to her on whatever you're ready. Oh, okay. You can turn around. <laughs> then we can start walking. So, when she starts walking is when I start beginning my move. So I'm just panning down. I had to ditch my original plan. But this still got a great shot for me. Got everything that I would need for the edit. So here the or photographer the and I, court. we're going down and trying to figure out the best place for the first look with her dad. He's like, he's like, best wedding ever! Oh, are we shooting hoops for this? <laughs> Come on, you and me in your wedding dress. Yeah, <laughs> So would you want then, because for me, a, for leading lines, if we even had him like, if we had him down here resting his hand on here, yeah. and then she's coming up. Facing that way, you mean? Like, he's facing that way, and then she's coming down like this, taps him on his right shoulder, so then he turns and faces, like, as he turns, he'll see us. Yeah, that's fine. I'm probably, probably what I'll have her do is walk up to him, stop. Okay. I'm going to run and grab the side shot. Okay. It, versus, like, the, um, this shot. So I can see like his reaction kind of thing. Okay. So now here I have to put back on my ND filter just because we were moving from out or inside to outside. <laughs> this is the one thing that you constantly have to remember throughout the entire wedding day is taking this on and off. Unless of course you have like an A7S3 that you could just go up to about 12,800 ISO. so snazzy uh, thank you thank you so the photographer's assistant October? is going to grab <laughs> the bride <laughs> and we have the bride's dad right here as we just got him set up and we're just trying to talk to him get him a little more comfortable with the whole situation with two cameras pointing him at him at all times <laughs> you never know honestly So here we have everything fully set up for the, the first right look with the father. I don't but know if you want to be I'm right going to just kind of let it play out uh, and you, you guys can see well. just I how it went. I told her to walk a little like sideways towards him cuz okay. I just want to get like this and then I'm going to move. Yeah, I got her like edge of frame okay. so I'm good. I will not. <laughs> hey, could I I asked him could I bite on my finger so that the pain stops me from like all the yeah. other crazy emotions. Yeah. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. Thank All you. All right, you can start walking a little bit. Good. Stay a little off centered. Good. You can move. All right. Okay. All right, you can keep walking and then she'll tap you on your right shoulder. Okay. Can Maddie put out the dress now before I tap him? Sure. Okay. It's I you. Know. It's you, Amanda. I know. I'm I can't wait. It's been a long day to wait for you. So usually for this, I like to have it as just one fluid motion so I could use her walking up and so I don't really have to put any cuts in there whatsoever. But the photographer decided that it was okay to let everything be fanned out even though she's going to be walking around a little bit. Good. Yep. Like it? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not worthy. <laughs> I'm not worthy. <laughs> I'm not worthy. I have to walk this down the aisle. Aww. I gotta I gotta measure up somehow. It is beautiful. Could I, could, could I take a walk around you? Yeah, yeah, look at the back. Yeah, don't Oh my goodness. 
Look at that. That's why I hit the gym. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for the lats. For the lats. Yeah. Oh my goodness. You like? Yeah. Life. You are beautiful. Thanks, Dad. You are beautiful. You like it? Yes. Yes. Did you, what did you think? I did don't you know think about, about the other it? dresses, but that dress probably that I tried on. You mean? Yeah. <laughs> only that we do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It is so nice. <laughs> gonna get a sunburn. <laughs> that? Oh, you get a sunburn. Yeah, very quickly. Wow. You like it? Yes. Good. I feel, I feel but like that <laughs> look, <laughs> that first look with the father, yeah, was probably one of the better it. ones I've had because of all the words he said, and it's gonna make the video so much better. So now we're here at the ceremony, and right here the photographer and I are just setting up for when everyone comes out in the aisle now for here I do have a camera over to the left where I have my second shooter and I do have a third camera on a tripod over to the right which I will be going to a little bit So here the photographer and I are just whispering a bit to what our game plan is for this. Just because it is a smaller area so we're going to have to work together a little bit for when everyone comes down the aisle. So here is the parents I believe. But here you can see I have this camera on a 70 to 200 and this one's just right down the middle to where the priest is and with the grill. So here I'm just adjusting my white balance because I forgot to white balance. But now that camera and the camera on hand is all the same exact settings. So here, now the bride is coming down, as you can probably tell from the music. The photographer is right below me, and I'm just overhead. This is what's going to be working out for us, and the priest did give us her permission to do this. Now you can see the groom here is stepping up as she comes down. I am moving back so then the moment could be a little bit more intimate and we're out of sight so out of mind. Now I have a mic on the groom too so we're getting all of this audio as well. So that is pretty much the highlights throughout the rest of the ceremony. It was just me moving around on the gimbal, getting a bunch of different angles. Perfect. I was moving that tripod around right, a little bit too on the other camera. And then my second shooter was Ready, just one, two, moving three. on the tripod just Good. to make sure that he's getting everything from that third Good. angle. And then we're going so here we're pockets. actually now back at the, and then Tim, the reception. Can, like, your brother a little bit. Good, and then everybody's gonna turn in. Here we're them. just getting all of the groom so group brother, shots first. Like super close. Yep, like toes are touching close. And there again, <laughs> the and then everybody else is photographer in. is being the director good. for this because these are the <laughs> shots that she this wanted. This side amazing. This side scooching just a little bit more. Good. But right now I am pushed in at about okay. a 70 millimeter. You can see that we have quite a big distance good. from us. All right, good. To Hands are in our pockets. But Looks amazing. I am at One, about a two, 70 three. to where everyone good. is One about more. full frame. Like looking at you. Up. Yeah. Tim, yeah. if you're feeling comfortable with this. Oh baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Take it off. So, <laughs> Take it off. No. <laughs> if everyone starts from behind you, they're going to run up and then pick you up. Sure. And it's just run up? Yeah. Yes. So guys, so whoever you pick, the two guys. So like always, I always like doing okay, this yeah. with the grooms because it's something like fun like to do. But I always have to make sure that it's fun yeah. and yeah. it's like, so okay straight straight with yeah. the yeah. groom yeah. first. And then the because sometimes they don't gonna feel gonna comfortable or don't necessarily trust the groomsmen to pick them up like that. But that's why I was asking him and trying to see if he's right. Yeah. All right. 
Tim, let's actually smash take those a yams. Steps yep. <laughs> if you guys want, if you guys can just move back a little bit more, so you have a little bit of a running space. I assume Nick is. Sean or John? I'm grabbing a leg. So I think I'm going to take a girl. So right now, my second shooter is actually inside, <laughs> getting all the detail shots of the reception hall before anybody is in there. So he's getting the cake, all the photos and everything, while I'm out here doing this with the bridal party. All right, ready, fellas? Yep, I'm all set. You're going to pick up your groom here. Ready, one, two, three. Get him! Get him! Get him! So again, like I was mentioning before, you always have to be ready because I wasn't expecting them to actually keep running towards us. So I had to actually come back and adjust my framing. So you heard me there just letting the photographer know that we both were kind of caught off guard. But that's again why you just have to be ready to go with anything on a wedding day. Perfect. So now we got pretty much everything we needed with the groom and the groomsmen for group setting at least with just them. So now me and the photographer are going over with the bride and the bridesmaids to get some of those group shots with them. That's what I always do. <laughs> so there is my second shooter. Oh. I feel what he's running with is the A7S III with the Zion Crane, right, I believe it is, with Just the Ninja V for his monitor. I don't know if I mentioned what I'm using, but I am using the R6 with the 24 to 70. Thomas, my second shooter, is also using the 24 to 70, but the G Master, I'm using the RFL, and I am using the DJI Ronin S2 with the Ninja V as well. You got all those details? Yeah. Nice. So again, they're just communicating with yeah, him just to make sure that we got everything. Me. This thing. No. That's close. I know. You see why I like burn through calories? Good. <laughs> And then we're all looking at Amanda. Can you actually hold that real Good. quick? Yeah. I gotta adjust my monitor. That's your right. Oh, that's your favorite. <laughs> so here we don't really have to get too much of this. I already got the one or two shots that I needed out of that group setting there. Can you actually level that so for me? That's where I could adjust all of this stuff, especially with like Thomas twisted. being right there yeah. with yeah. me. It just makes no, things a little like bit that. easier. And for the reception, it's go. just going to make things a little that bit more smooth. For me. There we go. Thanks. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So here I'm getting a close-up shot of right, just the bride. Do, like, our back. Just trying to get a little so bit of a candid. We're going to yeah. take golf carts out though and get I some nice things. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she was just like, every time everyone's looking at it, she's like, look at the back of it. <laughs> she's like, that's why I go to the gym. <laughs> you could start recording. Boom, boom, boom. Isn't that a song? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Y'all ready for this? Din -din 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 -din. <laughs> <laughs> all right. On the count of three, we're all going to start cheersing and kissing and stuff. Okay. All right, ready? One, two, three. Good. Yes, yes, yes. Good. You got it. So here with my second shooter, uh, we're both getting two good. different angles right, just to make sure that we have we're good. something you, you good um, just in case I don't like him rest. editing <laughs> my shot or his shot then it just gives <sighs> us two angles yeah. oh, you get this so now get this, here yeah. with the entire like bridal party where yeah. you're <laughs> creating a little bit of like a arch and with some leading lines with the people so <laughs> we're going to be getting <laughs> them no, running mean, down thing. and then kissing you're going to have to buy like another battery for this and I have two batteries. The battery life was actually pretty good. Buy two. Yeah. Like, I feel like I'll never be upset at myself for spending money on batteries. Yeah, you can never have too many. 
I need to buy like one or two more batteries for these guys. All right, so what is your plan for this? They're walking through, correct? Yep, yep, yep. they're walking through and then they're going to stop for a kiss. Is Tim holding the flowers? Can yes. I? Can I walk back? What? Like, can I start like right here and then walk back, uh, or is that gonna sure. be in your shot? We can also do <laughs> Okay. All right. That's what I was trying to mitigate. Though, all right. So. Ready? Just give me one. Second. You guys are gonna start looking at each other. We're all cheersing. Um, so here, guys, the photographer yeah, is thing, just slightly yeah. onto my go. left, while I'm on the right. We're both all right. not centered, Ready? One, but two, it's good enough three. to where you're not even gonna tell for those leading lines. And then they're gonna stop and kiss there. And that is going to be a great shot to end the entire video with since we didn't have any sparklers send off or anything like that. I believe I got it. Let me just double check. Yes, I'm good. I don't need it again. Although they are the stars of the show right now, this is a celebration for all of us. Truly, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for what you've done to up for us. A couple quick, specific thank yous. Jim so and Karen here Kalinsky. we're actually now doing all of the speeches. Now, I had to preserve some of the battery on this BTS camera just because I only have the one battery. But just to give you a little insight, what we did here is right behind us, there is the Aperture 200X with a softbox on. That's why you see that my second shooter here is very hot. Uh, you can see that we do have a 120D a little off to the right there, which we decided not to turn on because that's going to just be a little too bright then for what we're trying to get. We're just trying to expose inside with outside so we don't have to blow out those windows. So, the photographer actually asked if I could cool this light down a little bit because it is a little too warm for her compared to outside to inside. So, after the father of the brides finished speaking, we pulled the light down and we changed it to match daylight. No doubt about it. I couldn't have finished recording the rest of the day for this wedding just because my battery died on the BTS camera. I am going to be ordering another one so this doesn't happen again. So after that speech is where the battery fully died on me and I didn't have a charger for it. So, sad so sadly enough I wasn't able to bring you for the behind the scenes for some of the formal stuff that we did at sunset. But as I'm speaking now I'll just overlay some of the stuff on here so you could see some of that. And this is my favorite time of the day just because this is where I get to be the most creative, change a few settings up, expose differently just to get all these different unique shots, which is really fun for me because like I said, it's more creative. While you're filming some of the ceremonies and the receptions, most of it is just uh, on tripods and just kind of sticking towards something. So. That section isn't really that exciting for me, but like this time of the day is really where it's a lot of fun for me. It Just really brings more of my creative abilities out and really makes me think more. I'm really happy you made it all the way to the end of this video. I really hope it gave you something, show you a little bit more behind the scenes. If this is something that you like and want to see more, just let me know down in the comments. Uh, let me know what else you would like to see throughout wedding days. and. Um, if you did get something out of it, give this video a like, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next.